Yo, what's up, world? It's your man, Slim Jim Longfoot, aka the GOAT, King of America. Welcome to day 1197 of Diabetes and I, the daily vlog series that I do to show y'all how I combat this type 2 diabetes with the one do, you feel me? Yo, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you can keep up on all things Slim Jim Longfoot, such as my product reviews, my how to videos for YouTubers, my TV and movie reviews views my reactions my video clips my live streams my daily vlogs that you're watching right now and last but not least my art video series goat 1408 tv shout outs to the members of the live chat crew most notable members includes sexy trees 1408 queen candace michael marshall life's magical journey wellness with frugal mom and last but not least my sis the big sis of youtube Latanya portal special consideration to my bro jenny quest gaming who co-hosts his nerd strip club with me if you ain't checked out our channel yet what you waiting on what you waiting on what you waiting on go do that there go do that there go do that there you dig also shout out to the members of the 1408 which includes kid wonders life of wonder um gaming mode advice with mail elevate with Vern. Blackjack939, Pro Loner, and last but not least, Eat to Live Strong. If you yourself would like to be a member of the 1408, you're going to have to uh, just sit back and relax until we get back monetized here on the channel. So until then, um, if you truly want to support Swim Jim Long, fucking all the endeavors, um, all the endeavors, all you got to do is, of course, you know what I'm saying, check out the um links in the description below which includes the books i've written the books i've drawn the merchandise that i have and last but not least my sister's cash app on behalf of my niece paris who was shot back on the 2nd of february of last year in 2022 hashtag paris strong hashtag prayers for paris whether that's for or the number four so with that being said um i'm up here rocking on what i had for dinner last night on yesterday's daily vlog uh, uh, mm. um, with that being said, today is a uh, Tuesday, y'all. It is Tuesday, the 13th of June, um, 2023. Uh, shout out, so uh, rest in peace to the actor treat williams treat williams who i was i was literally thinking about him like sometime last month i was wondering what he had been up to because i hadn't heard of, heard about him lately and found out early this morning that he died yesterday in a motorcycle accident he was on a motorcycle and got hit by a car um he was 71 years old he starred in i never i never actually saw hair but i remember i remember you know knowing that they had the broadway production as a matter of fact i need to see if melbourne moore of course um i'm quite sure melbourne moore um has um spoke out about treat williams because uh melba moore was of course a part of the hair production back in the day but i when i was growing up i met i remember him because you know we had a vast vhs collection when i was growing up we had a vast vhs uh, vhs collection and so i remember growing up watching him in movies such as 1941 um this movie used to come on um tv um you know back in the day um after it came out um called dead heat that was another favorite movie of mine that he was in and then um when everwood came on uh the wb back in the day in the early 2000s i watched him on that show as well uh, it was a show called everwood i watched uh the first few seasons of that you know what i'm saying because you know treat you know i grew up uh, liking treating those movies and so i wanted to check out his uh new show that he had on during that time and you and he he seemed like he was such a chill always a chill type of dude you feel me and so um you know in in the roles he played other than 1941 1941 he was a total a-hole in 1941 but um but 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 he wait but, but he but he would but he but he gave off that charisma though in that movie though and that that you know if y'all never seen 1941 definitely check that out a lot of great stars was in that uh john belushi uh ned Beatty, um and the list goes on um dan Aykroyd was in it um so yeah it was a lot of a lot of stars in 1941 but uh, but yeah, rest in peace, uh, the Treat Williams. Um, also, Everwood um, also starred um, 
a future superstar in Chris Pratt. Uh, that was one of the first shows that he was on back when he was um, slim and blonde, back way before he was the fat guy on um, Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation. Uh, recreation. <laughs> recreation. Anyway, um, and of course, you know, now, you know, everybody know him as Star Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy. But um, rest in peace to Treat Williams, man. Um, I hope everybody's having the most awesome day. You know what I'm saying? Making it do what it do. Um, I was also just reading up on um, an article about uh, that basketball player Zion. I don't really get in. You know, I don't really get into the whole celebrity thing, but it's just it's just freaking weird, man. It's just freaking weird how you know stupid these. Well, I ain't gonna say all athletes are stupid, but because my nephew is an athlete and he is definitely not stupid. Shout out to Big D, you know what I'm saying? Because that's why we making sure he got his head on right and don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, you feel me? But, you know, you got these athletes, you know, who act like some real country bumpkins. And it's like, you know, the, the boy young, he, he's, he was born in the year 2000, so he's extra young. And you actually linked up with an adult film star and thought you was going to do her dirty and she wasn't going to say nothing about it. You're an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been better off just watching her from afar like you was probably doing as a child because she's like a good 10 years older than him. Yeah, she is actually 10 years older than him. But she was born in 1990, which she's still young herself in my eyes. But it's like, you're a whole idiot, <laughs> you know? Like, you're a whole idiot. Like, <laughs> man, I don't know, I don't know. These folk are stupid. And also, um, I drew this young lady out last night. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see the picture. Um, um, this young lady who, um, you know, became, um, went viral on Twitter because, uh, you know, she posted up a picture and, you know, she was saying that, um, that people, you know, always kept telling her at her job that she's too pretty to work at that job. And so, you know, she blew up virally and now you got these incels that came out and they actually put out, you know, her location of where, you know, at the job that she worked at and, you know, is, is, you know, is, is cost, you know, she's got to stop working there cause you know, she, you know, don't want to be, uh, you know, fear, you know, fear of safety and whatnot. And, you know, it's sad they had to come to that because it's like, you know, she just made a simple post and the whole world went freaking crazy over it. You know, I ain't gonna say the whole world because some people obviously, you know, if you didn't know, you didn't know. But, um, you know, it's like, the, you know, we got a whole generation of incels out here. And if you don't know what incel is, you know, check out, you know, look up the definition, I-N-C-E-L. But um, you got a whole bunch of incels out here that just... It just cause problems for zero reasons, you feel me? And it's just... I don't know, man. It's 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 just goofy, man. It's it's just real goofy out here. You know, you got that, and you know the U.S. being distracted um, media-wise by indictments when whole bunch of us, other stuff going on, which you know concerning our dollar. But you know, what can you do, man? All you can do is just live this life, and you know, what I'm saying trust in, you know, what I'm saying. The, the 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 highest of the power the most high in all things because man this world man this world is <laughs> it's a circus <laughs> this world is a circus that's what that's what the title gonna be this this world is a circus <laughs> the world is a circus and the world is a ghetto like war said the world is a ghetto. Oh, it really is. Though. But this world is ghetto. Well, if I had a spaceship, I'd been gone. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I've been. I've been gone. I've been gone. I've been gone like in sync. I've been gone, baby. 
But um, yeah, man, it's a whole trip out here, man. It's a whole trip. But how your day going? How you? How's y'all day, man? You know what I'm saying? How y'all day? And see, this this is what I'm talking about. You know when, you know when anybody ever asks me, you know how do you do it? What do you talk about every day? You know, like I said, keep living. You're going to find things to talk about. You feel me? You're going to find things to talk about. You're going things are things are going to happen to talk about. You know, whether it's personally for you, something to talk about, or just the world in general, because it seems like nobody knows how to behave anymore. No, it's a lot of people that just don't have no home training or just live to cause some type of chaos and that's what the majority of it is all about it's all about either causing you know it's all about the the the, the situations of order and chaos and if you do have order who is the who are the ones making the order who are the ones making the orders you know and what are the orders you know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's saying that you should eat giraffe every day, and that's an order, is that an order you're going to follow? I don't know. Hmm. I need some kidney beans with a piece of chicken from last night. Beans are pretty good. I got no salt on them. Nice, nice, plain. I like it. I think I've ever had kidney beans before. Are they called kidney beans because they look like kidneys? I don't know. Probably. If that's what a kidney looked like, I don't know. I ain't looked at a kidney in a minute, so you know, I, don't, I don't go around, you know, looking at, you know, um, uh, human human body pictures, even though. I should sometimes because I'm a party, but then I don't draw the inside of the human body, so. Uh. Crazy world, y'all. Crazy world. But anyway, I hope y'all doing okay. And yeah, shout out to Tina Bellino, uh, who just had her um, new newest baby. Um, for those that don't know Tina Bellina, um, she is, um, I lost count, but I think, I think this is her, I think this is her fifth child, if I'm not mistaken, because her, her first, um, baby that she was pregnant with, um, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken, was her fourth child, if I'm not mistaken. So I think this is her fifth. I think this is her fifth child. So. Congratulations to Tina Bolina and her husband on the newest edition of their family. For that part. Mm. Mm. Well, that's with Frugal Mama is live right now as I currently um talk to y'all it's 7 13 in the morning right now let me go hop in pop in on the stretch nation baby let me go ahead and shout out everybody who is in the building right now as a matter of fact as I say that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is time for the shop 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 Hey, 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 shout, 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 hey, hey, hey. It's time for the shout outs, baby. It's time for the shout outs, baby. Okay, let me pause this uh, advertisement real quick as I shout out everybody who is in the building right now. I'm about to type real quick. Stretch Nation, what's up? <laughs> I know Frugal Mama. Was, oh, I remember when you said that. <laughs> Stretch Nation was up. 
I see one busy mom up in this thing. Shout outs to her. Uh, let me scroll back as far as I can go back. It's right now currently uh, 15 in the chat with 25 likes. I just put the 25th like up there. Uh, oh, it's 18 in the chat now. Let's see. We got, let me, um, let's see. We got, uh, I see you, frugal mama, frugal mama down on the floor, dad, gonna get in, getting them abs in. That's what I need to work while I need to get my ab game back pump popping. Ab game, let it go. So, let me, uh, let's see. Let's see, uh, going back to the top, we got Steve Gilmore YouTube channel in the building, always Tam Tam. Um, Ama, Ama knows out, um, Ama knows out, Shangy Girl, um, Khadija Reeves, um, Justin Mello's music and vlogs, uh, Truth Master Dre, um, 0000, uh, One Busy Mama, uh, Sweet Vree, um, Winter Lightning, uh, Associate Minister and Reserve Deacon, Mr. Terry Jones, um, King Akil, Be the Difference Clothing, shout out to Be the Difference Clothing in the building, uh, Mountain of Inspiration, Miss B and Fam. To uh, JMJTST and Tamika Davis and House of X Entertainment Inc. House of X in the building. Just shout it out, everybody above me. Just shout it out, everyone above me in my daily vlog. Blessed up. So that part. So shout out to everybody who is in the building watching Frugal Mama get her exercise on, get her abs on, you feel me? She working it out for if y'all didn't see it this morning that she goes, she working it out, y'all. She working it out. Hey Frugal Mama, I see you girl. Frugal Mama, who is going to be my muse. She is my muse for episode um, 181 of GOAT 1408 TV. So, y'all be on the lookout for that when that episode drops straight up. Now, let's go ahead and see who was here yesterday for day 1196. Three days away from 1200, y'all. Hey. In the regular comment section, we got. We got my. There we go. I about to say we got my phone being slow, but here we go. Latonya Porter said, hey, bro, bro, what's up, sis? Deny Jasmine said on the replay, hey, you better know it. Hey, I see you, though. Sunkiss Spiritual, a.k.a. Uh, Mrs. Queen Sunkiss, she said, uh, my condolences to your friend. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Shout out to Kimberly one more again. And uh, also shout out to my other friend, Kimberly, who is still here. Um, uh, my friend Kimberly, who was a part of the, who is the reason why I did the one chip challenge back in 2020. Um, I was, I was just talking to her yesterday. Shout outs to her. Um, shout out to my other friend Kimberly. I know a lot of Kimberly's. Shout out to my other friend Kimberly, who is an artist also. And shout out to all the Kimberly's. Shout out to Kimberly, the pink ranger. Amy Jo Johnson, that's a real name. Um, Sun Kid Spiritual, she said, that last part of the food be the part that caused some folk to overeat because the pleasure of the taste of the food. Pleasure. <laughs> that part. Speaking of Quay Show, speaking of Quay Show, said, hey, with the heart, just in case y'all didn't know, if y'all didn't see it yesterday, make sure you go to Speaking of Quay Show. 
the channel her celebrating her birthday in the ATL with a special guest on her channel you dig that part so y'all ain't check that out make sure y'all go check that out it will be at the end of this uh daily vlog right here you feel me sun kid spiritual also said replay a hey, that part and in the live check in the live chat for yesterday we had um frugal mama was in the building australia garcia was in the house and that was it I appreciate y'all one more again for coming on through. You know what I'm saying? Keep on doing what y'all do. Stay blessed up, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Remember to love yourself. Remember to believe in yourself. Remember these five levels of greatness, baby. The five levels of greatness, you know what I'm saying? Manifest them from your spiritual. Manifest them from your emotional. Manifest them from your physical. Manifest them from your mental. Manifest them from your financial. Keep on manifesting and keep on recognizing already that's going on in you. You feel me? That part. All right? Video. Playlist. Watch them all, all right? One love.